In fact, I mean, I, I, I disagree with the idea of unions, but perhaps for a reason that is different than people may expect, is, which is, I, I just don't like anything which creates kind of a lords and peasants sort of thing. And, and I think the- That's your whole, what? What? <laughs> I'm not saying what do you mean, you Elon? Yeah. And so you, so your solution to not, um, to your to, solution to preventing a lords and peasants situation is to remove any buffer to ensure that there is a lords, a lord, excuse me, a lord in peasants situation. Because like, yeah, this was some twist in logic that I was just like, what in the world? That's free no speech, Elon, his, man. Name the way he, they're named. Good God. That's, that's free speech, Elon, man. What you mean? That's, Grimes, that's, what the hell the you think about, girl? Rich muff. Bro, that's why I hate this myth that being, one, that Elon is smart, but two, that like you have to be super duper intelligent in order to be a billionaire. No. He was a fucking <laughs> idiot. Elon, <laughs> Elon, man. Elon Musk, it. I'm telling you right now, this dude. Okay, let me just go to this. <laughs> God. Golly, I I should have brought me some liquor for this for this segment. This is out of the hill. It says SpaceX in new lawsuit claims NLRB structure violates constitution. What in the what in the heck? Nico, I need you to make some well, sense know, of this. The South African apartheid illegal immigrant to Canada is a, definitely a constitutional expert. So maybe you should pump your brakes, JB. Maybe you should just listen and hear him out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> let, let, let's get into this article. It says SpaceX sued the National Labor Relations Board on Thursday, claiming the oversight agency structure violates the Constitution. The, the moves come after the NLRB filed a complaint against SpaceX on Wednesday, alleging the company unlawfully fired eight employees who drafted and circulated an open letter detailing workplace concerns. It says SpaceX suit describes the complaint as unlawful, claiming that the NLRB structure violates Article 2 of the Constitution and the Fifth and Seventh Amendments. The company argues that because only board members and administrative judges can be removed by the president, not all employees, the agency structure is unconstitutional. What kind um, of BS is this? Nico. I'm so confused. Hold up. What, what that, that was, what's his argument? What's his argument? It says... Article two of the Constitution and the Fifth and Seventh Seventh Amendments are being violated, basically. Because only the president, only the who can do can fire who? It says, I, I'm says, I'm as confused as to what does that have to do with the board. Yeah, it says only board members and administrative judges oh, okay. can be removed by the president. Not all employees. The agency structure or it can be removed by the president, like the president of the United States. I guess that's what they mean. Or the president of the company. Doesn't specify. Maybe it says, he's talking about, maybe uh, that could be what he means is like, no, no, I guess it would mean the president. Because you can't, as a, even as a president of a company, you can't unilaterally fire board members. So maybe he's complaining because of NL, NLRB, uh, but they don't even have the ability to fire board, to, to take away board members. Do they? What the fuck is he talking about? No, but it says the existence of unconstitutional removal protections inflicts it twofold harm. It limits the president's constitutional authority, of course, the suit reads, but it also produces an administrative bureaucracy that operates on regulated parties without the constitutionality required degree of electoral accountability. But that was about the most bullshit I have heard in one sentence. That man, they didn't say a goddamn thing. It limits nope. the president's constitutional authority. How? So he's talking about the president of the United States. Who's getting removed? I, okay, so I guess my my question is who's getting removed and why the fuck are they complaining? I'm confused. I, I know it doesn't happen very often, but what's going on? Why is he? Why is this a point that Elon is attempting to make? Because what, what, here's why I'm asking, this is why it scares me, JB, is people forget SpaceX is inextricably linked to the United States. It is a Pentagon entity. 
Their money comes from the Pentagon. They don't, they're not fucking flying people, civilians into space. They're building weapon systems for the Pentagon to transport weapon systems to anywhere in the world within one or two hours. That's what it is. So if SpaceX can challenge the government here, because that's what I'm effectively, this is a lawsuit against the government, because the NLRB is technically an entity of the government, correct, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, I mean, NLRB really is just, you know, an advocacy group for especially not just labor, but also unions as well. Yeah, but they're not really that effective anyway. But, but what it not does, it really, does, not like they should be, I, I would yeah. put it that way. They have like small, very small victories here and there. But the reality is, is that like it's the precedent separate from, an L, from the NLRB that could be a problem. That's my concern because SpaceX, you know, the, the, what usually happens is when you're suing the government, you can ride the money real quick, right? That's just how it goes. Uh, cause they have unlimited money and you don't, um, mm -hmm. unless you're a corporation that has a shit of money, uh, and really good lawyers. Now in this particular situation, SpaceX effectively has unlimited money because they are effectively a government and ent it's entity to buy stocks in SpaceX. You'd have to buy stocks in Google to buy stocks in Google. You're effectively buying stocks in the government because the government owns google i mean it's a long story to explain how that is but just trust me it's that's how it is so mm -hmm. they have a limited money spacex has unlimited subsidies from the government on top of all that mm -hmm. so like Absolutely. what can what drove elon and spacex to have a lawsuit about these type of business practices and the constitutionality of firing board members and et cetera, et cetera. Like effectively, it looks like um, they're trying to stop all organizations from being able to unionize and effectively, uh, uh, potentially, um, any, like any strong union, like potentially stopping them from being able to remove people. Cause you know, like you have unions in situations where they can vote, they're, they're voting members of the board and they can remove members. Yeah, yeah. So here, here, uh, here's uh, Elon. Um, this was I find to be pretty interesting. Um, where he was talking about the idea of unionizing, and this was some BS to me. Uh, this was only a month ago. Here's Elon here. Because our China, China team is the best China. How China worried are you that the, that the unionization effort that just took place? Uh, at, at, well, not, I shouldn't say effort, but the, 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 new, the, the new wages and the like at GM and Ford are I shouldn't coming. Say effort, what? And they are coming for you. What is that going to mean to you and your business? Well, I, I mean, I, I think it's generally not good to have an adversarial relationship uh, between um, people on the line, you know, one group at the company and another group. In fact, I mean, I, I, I disagree with the idea of unions. But perhaps for a reason that is different than people may expect, is, which is, I, I just don't like anything which creates kind of a lords and peasants sort of thing. And and I think the motherfucker, that's your whole what? what? <laughs> I'm not. Saying what do you mean, Elon? Yeah. yeah. So you, so your solution to not, um, to your to, solution to preventing a lords and peasants situation is to remove any buffer to ensure that there is a lords a lord excuse me a lord in peasants situation because like yeah this was some twist in logic that i was just like what in the world that's free no speech wonder why elon, man. named the way he, they're named good god that's, that's free speech elon man what you mean that's grimes what the hell the you think about girl rich muff bro that's why i hate this myth that being one that elon is smart but two that like you have to be super duper intelligent in order to be a billionaire. No, he was a fucking idiot. He yep. is an idiot. And you know how you know he's an idiot and that he knows he's an idiot? This man spends all day on Twitter trying to tweet philosophical bullshit, hoping that you validate his existential insightfulness. Cause he's a fucking little boy who didn't get enough attention from his daddy. And he goes to, twi to Twitter to see validation despite being a fucking billionaire. And despite being the richest man on the planet, he still needs validation and likes on Twitter, a company that he fucking owns. Like, um, like, bro, it, like, it's like going to your wife and giving her the best Johnson that you could possibly give her. And she like, that's my baby. Of course she, that, that's me. Of course. That's 
she supposed to say? What she gonna say? Hey, baby, well, tonight you ain't have it, dog. But tomorrow we gonna go pick you up. Like, <laughs> bruh. His big mama even left him. His big mama was like, "Deuces, I don't care. You a billionaire." Yeah, like, bro, it, he's an idiot. He's a fucking idiot, and he's a duplicitous asshole. Like, I do not like him. I've never liked this guy. I, re- I just have never, ever, and it bothers me that I have friends that can't see through him. It really does because it's like almost like an existential crisis for me. Actually, it bothers me more than what it probably should because I'm like, yo, if you can't see through Elon then like we have a problem in this world because all the evidence is right here. And generally speaking, you're an evidence-based person, which means y'all affection towards Elon is something deeper than I have the ability to explain or quantify. And it is a fucking problem because we got, we got like, it's, it's that particular, uh, uh, quality in people that just draws themselves to people like Elon is the problem with the world, right? Like, how Mm -hmm. do you not see through this shit? It's what, like, I can, you can see through Elon just by listening to him talk, generally speaking, you're supposed to be able to, but okay, say if you need facts and evidence, okay, well, all of the facts and evidence are there. Yeah, but I don't know, man, I'm gonna just hold out hope. For fucking what? For what? what? (laughs) How many times are you like, are you done yet? Because how many times has happened? We just talked about all the, bro, on Twitter, he... Like, well, we just saw a bunch of accounts get banned. And I'm, obviously, it isn't just recently, but, like, we, today, we saw a bunch of accounts get banned for no reason, and I'm not going to get into why all of a sudden they came back, because that's a whole different conversation for Rock Thinner Rumble. But um, before that, when he went to Israel, which is like, what the fuck is Elon Musk going to Israel? Why? Because he's on the Pentagon payroll. That's what the fuck they told him to do. So take your ass to Israel, so we pay you for it. Comes back. We're going to ban River to the Sea. We're going to be throttling Palestine accounts, blah, 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 blah. We're going to be censoring certain words. It's like, so, so basically, it's, it's free speech absolutism until it's not free speech absolutism, is what you're telling me. I don't think, exactly. and this is why I say, at the end of the day, Elon's a fucking dumbass. He don't even know what absolute means. He just says it, and he thinks it sounds cool because he has a South African British accent. But he doesn't actually know what the fuck it means. He just says yep. things on Twitter. And in interviews, and people think he's smart. Bro, I once again, he did not invent the fucking Tesla. Ironically, and this is probably something I should look more into, <laughs> it was a hostile takeover of something that had already been invented. Welcome to capitalism. That's generally how it goes. Yep. It was a hostile takeover. He didn't invent fucking Tesla. He got the money. Mm-hmm. It made sure that no one else, that he made sure that it was way too expensive for anyone else to be able to do what he was able to do with Tesla vehicles and technology until recently whenever the patent started becoming more available or started becoming cheaper to bother by the parts that they had patented with the help of what u.s government subsidy uh subsidy subsidies yep and while we're at it who else owns pieces of tesla oh i didn't mean to do uh, that. i'm assuming i'm gonna see some Va- vanguard or black rock which one uh both oh well, and- there you go ta-da and- Vanguard, Black Weed, State Street. Oh, bro, they got the oh, they got the trifecta. Mm-hmm. They got the trifecta. So this just goes to show when he talks about when he talks about oh, I don't want to lords and peasants. My brother and Thor, you are a lord, and they are definitely peasants. Yeah. And you're trying to keep it that way. Look, this is why I'm done with him. I look. If you aren't done with Elon Musk, you should be. Because he, I, don't he reminds, me, bro. You know who he reminds me of before. I'm gonna let you go. I know you got another guest coming on, but he reminds me of those kids that like come with, like, to they show up with like all designer stuff, and like they try to come up and act super cool, like they like they're trying way too fucking hard. And you're like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? No, nah, man, you're not, not. You don't like my drip, dog. No, I do not. Why? Is it, why are all the labels on your clothes matching? Stop that. It's weird. No, yeah. I just dress like this all the time, man. That's just who I am. Like, I'm, I'm cool like you guys. Like, that's who he reminds me of. Like, this one of those type of guys. Like, he was, he's, a, he's looking for validation everywhere he goes. And he yeah. just also happens to be the richest man on the planet. Because who easier for the government to manipulate than the guy whose daddy issues are so prominent that he needs validation from the world? It's obvious. So, yeah. God, Lee, this is why, this is why next time I need to have your ass on for two hours. Hate that guy. Nico, Sorry, 
<laughs> Bro, can you tell everybody where they can find you and uh, what you got coming up next? <laughs> yeah, man, you can find me on Hotspot on Twitter. It's at Hotspot, Hotspot, all one word. Uh, on Instagram, it's at Hotspot. Uh, TikTok, same thing. YouTube, same thing. Uh, obviously, you can also find me on Twitter at Real Nico House. Nico with a K, not Nico with a C. Um, and on YouTube, obviously, you can just look up Nico House on YouTube. And I should pop up and on TikTok and Instagram as well. Uh, I post a lot of content on Instagram too. So y'all make sure I go find me out there as well. I actually hit a hundred thousand followers on Instagram, but then they took them away and then they gave them back again. And then they took them away again. I'm, I think I'm at like 99.8. It's, it's weird, but yeah, do a lot of good stuff over there too. So yeah, man, you know, it's meta dog. It's meta. I, I, I try hard, bro. I try hard to not post like super like crazy positive content. I'm like, dog, they gonna kill me. And that, bro, I posted one thing. I, TikTok, psh, don't even go. I mean, I, I post there, but don't look for any posts on TikTok. I said, y'all, because people ask me why I ain't post TikTok. I said, y'all, y'all know damn well if I post one. We're, we're on a list, y'all. They have a list of us. Y'all know these random content creators that post random. They do great stuff. Their uh, pro post on content goes viral. But, like, it's different when they do it on TikTok because they're not journalists. They don't have credentials. They don't have the consistency. They don't have the level of credibility that comes with doing this for as long as a lot of us, us have, right? But like, for example, Savvy posted a video on TikTok was fucking, like that shit was taken down immediately. I posted a video on goddamn TikTok. I was like, all right, guys, I'm gonna try it. I'm just laying on there like, no, but look at this guy. I said, okay, watch, watch what I tell y'all. Posted that shit, whoop, taken it out immediately. Bro, the sound, they didn't, let the, they didn't even let the sound upload before reviewing it and then decided to take it down and then threatening to suspend me for it. Wow. Even though it was a video of me damn near reading verbatim the coverage in the mainstream article. There are different rules for different people on social media, guys. So, so yeah. yeah. Uh, but that's how Meta get down. TikTok is not Chinese ran. And it is the, the one in the U.S. specifically. That's ran by the State Department. You, you know yeah. that. So, yeah. but y'all can find me there anyway. I'm gonna post when I can and uh, look out for the For the People podcast that should be dropping. If not the end of this week, it'll be on Monday. I'm really excited about that. All right. Nico House, everybody. Thank you so very much for coming in. Always good to see you, bro. Awesome, man. You too. Peace. All right. Peace. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you so very much for watching my channel. And I deeply appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. If you wish to support the channel further, so I can keep bringing you content that is educational and informative, you can become a patron on patreon.com forward slash jbfon. You can find that link in the pinned comment or in the description below. No matter what you give, you'll be supporting independent media and education that helps make the world better. Thank you so much. And you can watch more of my content here. Mwah. Forehead kisses and have a beautiful day.